Hey you guys, welcome to my channel. It's me, Candace the Aries, coming to you guys today with my my water fast story time. Long five days. So, where do I start? Um, just like most people. Um, I was wanting to lose weight, still am, you know, still a journey, still losing, you know, sometimes I'm a little stagnant, but that's neither here nor there. But um, I wanted to lose weight, you guys, and I wanted to lose it the favorite way that women, that most women like to lose weight, and that is very fast. So I didn't want to have to do like a, oh, let me work out for 30 days, let me Ain't nobody got time for that. Let me work out for like, I didn't, I'm like, I want to lose weight like yesterday. I want to lose a lot of weight. And then I'm just going to, you know, maintain it because that's, that's just been the way I have done it when I've needed to lose weight. I've never been like a big girl when I have been a big girl. There's been reasons why. Um, those are going to be other story times. So I won't really, uh, you know, dive into that. But, um... So yes, yeah, so I wanted to lose some weight. I wanted to lose. I was in a in a mode of I had staggered. Like I wasn't losing any weight, but I also wasn't gaining any weight. So I was like, you know, I'm gonna do this water fast, and I'm gonna do this water fast to um, you know jumpstart my weight loss. So you know, so that's what I'm gonna do. So um, I was on the water fast for five days altogether. Um, I lost 20 pounds. I would watch videos of people like, oh, I lost uh, 15 pounds in five days. I lost 10 pounds in five days. And I'm like, you ain't lose no 15, 10 pounds in no five days. But let me tell you, you ain't drinking nothing but water. <laughs> oh, it could happen because it happened to me. So the first day um, of the water fast, I woke up, you know, very motivated like most people do on their first day of doing something that they've been putting off doing forever. So, I was like, oh my God, I'm like so proud of myself. I'm finally doing this water fast. It's really going to bring me to a fantastic place mentally and physically. And this is going to be something that I know that I can do. Boy, if you don't. And, and, you know, not everybody can do a water fast, which is true. Um, So... I started the water fast on that first day. The first day was kind of rough, but it wasn't really bad. Um, so I was cool with that. I was like, okay, you know what, cool. I could, you know, I could deal with this tomorrow. I was drinking my water and everything like that. Um, the second day, I was like, okay, you know, I'm hungry, y'all. Like the second day, I was, I was starving. Like, please, sir, I want some more starving this is how this is how hungry i was like what i was doing because i didn't i didn't want to have to deal with that extreme starvation i would do one cup of the apple cider vinegar mix which was is like do i did the water and just the apple cider vinegar i didn't do lemon i didn't do honey like other people put different stuff in it i did the apple cider vinegar and water and i would drink it warm when i tell you that like for the first two days that had became like my treat because you get tired of drinking water my god you get tired uh, of drinking water so disclaimer I did not see a doctor for this. I did not tell my doctor that I was doing this water fast. And if you are doing a water fast or thinking about doing a water fast, especially if you are somebody that don't really have a lot of friends or really have a lot of family and stuff like that, you be careful. Be careful. So um, the second day, like I was drinking my, you know, my um, apple cider vinegar with my little water. That was my little treat for the day. The third day. When I woke up, when I woke up that third day, I, I, I felt like I knocked all this ish over, like all of it. 
Don't say nothing to me. Don't do none of that. Don't do none of that. And when you have a kid or when you have kids, you have to check that right away. Like you have to check it. You cannot be sitting around being mean to the babies because you don't feel good and stuff like that. So I really had to check it and was just like, okay, well, you know, you feel bad, but you still have to keep pushing on and things like that. And the third day I felt horrible, but I lost like, oh my God, I lost like, like 10 pounds, you know. So, fourth day come. I got through the third day. By the grace of God, it's nobody else would have got me through that. So, I hit the fourth day. When I tell you, on the fourth day, when I tell you, boo-boo, my appetite was gone. When I tell you, gone, it was gone. I could have sat in front of a, a platter full of all of my favorite foods and I would not have touched anything. When I tell you I had absolutely no appetite, no appetite. No kind of like, I'm trying to psych myself out to not eat like no appetite at all. At all. Like no when I tell you I no appetite, no appetite. So I was like, oh, cool. If I'm not going to have no appetite on day four, I'm like, man, I'm going to stay on this water fast. for. I do like a 30-day water fast. I do a 15-day water fast or something like that. I'm like, I'm going to be on the water fast. It's nothing. Day five come around. Nah, yeah, day five come around. Day five come around. I have not hit my 20, my 20-pound 20 goal yet. Day five come around. I'm at like... Oh, I might have, when I tell y'all, I was losing like four pounds a day, like three, four pounds every day, like 3.5 pounds, three point, like every day from the first day, like literally day one, day two, I had lost like four pounds, like every day. That's how I was losing weight. So by day five, I had already lost maybe about like almost like 15, 16 pounds, but I was experiencing something I had never experienced before. I was like, my heart started to race when I would do like little simple stuff like walk to the bathroom or get out of bed or shift my weight. My heart would beat out of my chest. When I tell y'all it was beating out of my chest, it was beating out of my chest. So the first thing I immediately think of, I'm like, okay, I'm having heart palpitations. I know a lot of times when people are water fasting, I was reading up on it. And I know people were saying that when they got dehydrated, they would experience certain things. But when I tell you everything that I was looking up on Google about having heart, like fast paced heart palpitation while I'm water fasting, it was not a lot of information on it. A lot of people were saying that when they were dehydrated, they were thirsty or their mouths was dry, but it wasn't a lot of people talking about the heart palpitations. So all of the fifth day, I dealt with the heart palpitations and I was like, you know, I kept telling myself, well, you know, maybe it will leave, maybe it'll go away or something like that. So, um, the sixth day came and the heart palpitations did not go away. Like the heart palpitations did not go away. So, um, on the sixth day, by this time I had been on the water fast for five days straight. I had not eaten anything at all. On the sixth day, like at maybe... It might have been like 11 o'clock at night. I started vomiting, like violently vomiting. And nothing was coming up because I was only drinking water. So, of course, it gets to a point after you vomited like three, four times where it's nothing but like the dry heaves. And everybody knows like you would rather do anything else than the dry heaves. I would rather projectile vomit than have to deal with the dry heaves. But I digress. So that happened. And so once that happened, I was like, you know what? I'm done. I'm breaking the fast. So I broke the fast with watermelon 
And so I ate some watermelon. And I was like, okay, well, you know what? Well, my heart should start acting better now because I'm eating the watermelon and things like that. Now, mind you, this was like, what day are we on? We on like the sixth day? Yeah, because the heart palpitation started on the fifth. So the sixth day, um, I started like the heart palpitations started and all of that stuff. I broke my fast the sixth day at night. It was like almost midnight going into that seventh day. And I woke up. Um, I broke my fast on the sixth day with watermelon. I woke up on the seventh day and um, I was like, I gotta go to the doctor. So in my mind, I was like, I'm gonna call my doctor. I'm gonna tell my doctor what's going on. My doctor is going to bring me in and then she's gonna give me a referral so that when I go over to the emergency room, I'll get seen right away as opposed to me just going to the emergency room and having to sit. Even though I'm telling them like, you know, this is what's going on with me. They're still like, if there are, it's, you know, it's a priority basis things. But if you go over to the hospital with a referral, it's different. So that's what I did. And that's what my doctor did. So um, I go to the doctor and I'm talking to the doctor. Like by this time, because I've had to walk from the car through the parking lot to the building, I had to get on the elevator. Then I had to walk from the elevator to the office. When I got to the desk, I was like, no. I was done so I get in the office and she sees me or whatever and I'm telling her like I could barely talk and I'm telling her she's trying to take my blood pressure they can't get a blood pressure on me she's trying to um my heart rate is just racing she took my pulse she's like oh my god no so she's like your heart rate is high it's I'm gonna send you over to the emergency room that's exactly how it happened so she sent me over to the emergency room I got in the emergency room. I gave them my name. When I tell you, I may have sat down for, I sat down in a little wheelchair that was in there just because it was somebody in front of me. But when I got, after they got my information, when I tell you from that point, I may have waited maybe like five minutes to be seen. And on that sixth minute, they already had me in the back. And in about 10 minutes, they had already done like a gang of things. Then they had me in a room. All of the doctors was outside of the room and everything like that because uh, they thought like they they was like okay this girl is she about to die like why why is this happening to her like why is her heart beating like this so all of the doctors were coming in they was trying to figure out what was going on and everything like that and that was making me more nervous so they ran all of these tests and things like that and everything was fine now on that day i had officially lost i had officially hit my i wanted to lose 20 pounds on the water fast and i think i had ended up losing like 19.7 or something like that and so i was cool with that you know yeah i was cool with that y'all you know you know i ended up i ended up in the emergency room um, during the a water fast for five days and it was you know it wasn't the worst experience I've ever you know been through I just I say that I lost 20 pounds so and I kept it off after I gained back 10 and then lost that 10 again but don't because I feel like you judging me and that's that's not what we're here for so, I did that water fast. If I do the water fast again, I definitely will do it with you guys. And I definitely will take like supplements or something like that so that that doesn't happen again. Because uh, dehydration, you guys, is no joke. I will let you guys know that. That's why earlier in the video, I was saying that if you don't have like friends or family or nobody that's going to be around, like go talk to a doctor or somebody. Like don't just sit around and do the water fast by yourself because... Everybody's body is different. I saw so many people that was doing the water fast for 15, 20, 25, 30 days. Never did no supplements. Never did none of that stuff. And they was losing weight and they were fine. And then I do it for four days. And then the fifth day, I get dehydrated and started having heart palpitations. Because come to find out, although you are drinking water, 
um, I wasn't drinking enough water and because you're just drinking water, you're still not getting all the other nutrients that you need that you would normally get for like food and things like that. So you're not getting those um, nutrients. So your body is going to lack those nutrients and you need, you need those nutrients because, uh, I was trying everything to not have to go to the doctor. I did the, the sea salt. I did the sea salt with the water. I did the watermelon. I tried to do the tea. I tried to do sugar. All that I couldn't. It just, and I had to go to the hospital, y'all. But what was so crazy was, even though I had broke my fast on the fifth day, going into the sixth day or the sixth day. Yeah, it was like the, the sixth day at night. When I broke my fast on that day, as I went to the hospital and everything like that, when I tell you guys, it took me like, it took me like almost like a week and a half to get out of ketosis. When I tell y'all I was trying to eat, I was still eating light because I didn't want to have a situation where I went and ate too much and then I ended up getting sick. So I was still like easing into it, like eat, eating fruits and vegetables and, you know, still drinking water, maybe adding in a little bit of green juice and stuff like that. But it took me the longest to get out of ketosis. It took me so long. When I was in the hospital, they had to give me, I think she had like three, three bags of fluids. I think it was like three or four bags of fluid. That's how dehydrated I was. And when I tell y'all, like, after the second bag, I felt like a brand new person. The third bag, I was like, new me, who this? You know, but I know I'm going, like, around in a circle, you guys, because that was just, like, such a crazy experience for me and everybody around me because everybody was like, uh, it is not that serious. That's what I said. I'm trying to. I'm trying to be cute, but I ain't trying to be cute in no casket. So I'm like, yeah, if I do the water fast again, you guys, I'm definitely going to take a different approach. I'm very much so more aware of my body and what I can and cannot take so much. You know, this video is going on for 17 minutes. So I digress. Again, y'all know that's my favorite thing to do. So that is it for me, Candace Aries. If you guys like this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and make sure you guys hit that bell and i'll see you guys next time and always remember to enjoy the journey